Hey, this is Andrew Brown. I want to get you some hands-on uh, uh, skills or knowledge with sentence transformers. This is something that just kept coming up as I was learning about embeddings. And so I figured we should learn the basics of it. Uh, I'm not the best to describe all of its use cases for sentence transformers. Maybe I'll bring in an expert here that can help us understand a bit better. But um, I do think that there it is worth our time to go try to make sure that we know how to utilize this and run it. So let's go ahead here and explore. So I'm going to need some kind of environment to run this in. And I don't think I need anything too complicated for this. Um, so I'm just trying to think about where we could run this. Um, maybe Google Colab might be something that we could use. So we'll go ahead and type in Google Colab. There's a lot of places where we can use notebooks. And today I'm going to go ahead and use uh, uh, this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and just sign in. So just give me a moment to sign into my account. Just a moment here. All right, so now I've logged in. And let's go ahead and create ourselves a new notebook. So in the left-hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and create a new notebook. And we'll just give that a moment. Now, if you have to create an account, um, I've already created one. So I honestly don't remember the setup for this. But I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Um, and so here on the left-hand side, we have our, our coding space. And let's go ahead and see if we can get this to work. Before we do, let's just rename this to like Sentence Transformers uh, Basic, okay? And then I'm gonna go back over to here and let's give this a go. So the first thing we'll need is the Sentence Transformers. So I'm gonna go ahead and import that. Now the thing is, is that um, I don't know what this environment already has in it. So it might already have some things pre-installed. And one way that we could check, because we're trying to import stuff here, I'm just trying to think here, there's a way for us to list um, things. I'm wondering if I go like uh, pip, uh, maybe it's pip show or pip list. Let's see if that works. I don't recall what the command is, but we'll just say like show all um, uh, Python libraries installed. So there's definitely a uh, pip show command. It is pip list. Okay, so we'll go back over to here. And so right away, we're getting a large list. And so one thing I'm wondering is like, what do we have? If we go over to here, do we have sentence transformers? So I'm going to go and search for it. And so I don't see it in our list. Um, we could also do this, say uh, uh, this, and see if we can get that exact version. But this might not be pre-installed, and that's totally fine if it's not. But it is, and so we have version 3.21. So that is interesting there. I'm going to go ahead and just continue on. Um, I don't know what the latest version is, but sometimes you might want to check this. I'm going to go and type in sentence transformers. I'm going to assume this is on GitHub, which is over here by U UKPL Labs. And if we drop down here, we can see tags, and we have 3.31 as the latest version. This one's on 3.21. Sometimes you might want to check what the difference is. So I'll go over to releases here. Okay. And so we have some uh, changes. Massive CPU changes speed up with OpenVINO. That's really good. Um, so yeah, the, you know, the question is, should we use the latest one? I don't know. Uh, it really depends if this stuff will work on the current version. Uh, but I'm going to just give it a go. But notice here it says load a pre-trained sentence transformers model. So it looks like it's bringing that model in from somewhere. Since this is maintained by Hugging Face, I'm going to assume that this is something that is available here on Hugging Face. Let's go ahead and type that in. And so it's all the way over here. So here we have, this is a sentence transformer model. It maps sentences and paragraphs to a 384 dimensional dense vector space and can be used for tasks like clustering semantic search. So it seems like, you know, sentence transformers has a bunch of models that it can load or variants on its original model. Um, but if we go over to here, I'm just curious, can we see more? Mm, yeah, we have embedding models, parallel sentence data sets. So yeah, it looks like there is a bunch of um, variants under here of embedding models that we could utilize. But we'll stick with the default one here. I don't know enough about any of these to know, but it might be curious, like, like law GPT sounds interesting. Sounds like it has something to do with like law data. But so far we are seeing um, uh, that is Chinese text. Yeah, that's not Japanese. I don't see any uh, Japanese text here, but yeah, I'm not sure what about this one, but I was just kind of curious. But anyway, so we're gonna bring this one in here Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. It says name, sentence transformer is not defined. Uh, and that's fair because we didn't bring in the uh, the definition. So we'll go back over to here. I'm going to go ahead and add a new code block and we'll paste it into here. I'll hit run here. We'll give it a moment. Okay. And now it should be imported. Mm, yeah, we'll just wait a moment. 
I'm not sure why it's struggling so much here, but oh, there we go. And so we'll go ahead and bring in this model. Now, I don't know how large this model is, but I'm pretty sure embedding models aren't as large as a uh, full large language model. So I think whatever compute we have here will be fine. We go up here at the top, we can see it says Python 3, Google Compute Engine Backend. Um, does it tell us anything else? Mm, I don't know, but like, you know, it's always good to know what kind of compute you have. And I always forget what CodeLab has. So CodeLab, um, a Google Compute Free, what is it, right? Including GPUs, TPUs, but what does it provide? I'm not sure. And here they say like, what exactly is the compute? And this is two years ago. So obviously probably out of date. Um, so I'm not seeing, at least I'm not seeing any clear answers as to what it is. I know when we're using uh, SageMaker, it's very clear, SageMaker Studio Labs, it's very clear what it is underneath, but that's totally fine. I think this will work here in, in Google CoLab. There's no reason why it wouldn't. So we have some sentences. So the sentences one in code, I'll just bring these up here a bit larger. We'll go ahead and copy this text. We'll bring it on down. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here and we'll go ahead and hit run. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and bring in uh, our uh, the actual calculations. I think this is, yeah, this encodes the sentence to embedding. So this will actually give us the embeddings. And so I think shape is us actually literally seeing the numbers. So we have three and th uh, 384. And this one is doing a comparison of embeddings. So I think this is comparison all other uh, embeddings. So we have three, so we have a grid of nine. So it's comparing, it's basically making a matrices of comparisons of them all. Okay, we'll go ahead and run this. Great, and so we have our, our comparison. So you might be asking, okay, we did this. Why did we do this, Andrew? Well, the idea behind embeddings is that we eventually want to store these in a vector store, right? So that we can find things that are similar. And this is specifically creating embeddings for sentences, right? So sentences that are comparable. And down below, we are simply doing model.similarity to say which ones are similar. And in a sense, this is us doing kind of like the search or fetch against, let's say if it was in a vector store, it's not. But here, we are basically performing both the embedding and also the comparison to then retrieve uh, things that are similar. So hopefully that is uh, clear enough. There's clearly a lot more that we can uh, do here. Mm, but I think that this is sufficient. I just want you to get some exposure um, uh, to sentence transformers. And you can see that it does a lot of things. So they say it can do computing embeddings, uh, semantic textual similarity, semantic search, retrieve, re-rank, a lot of different stuff, okay? And then it talks about the pre-trained models down here. So I didn't really explore earlier, but you can see there are some uh, that are here, but hopefully um, it's very clear. Sentence transformers is for creating embeddings specifically for sentences. And so this example is done. And um, I'm not sure if it's necessary to save. I'll just save that there. And uh, yeah, we are 100% done here. And hopefully you learned a little bit about sentence transformers, okay?